Now, we all know that science is incredible, right? It helps us understand the world, unraveling the mysteries one discovery at a time. But what happens when science hits a roadblock? Let's look at the most mind-boggling discoveries and phenomena that even science can't break down. From the mysterious crystal skulls to the holy stones, here are the 20 most mysterious discoveries scientists still can't explain. Number 20. Crystal Skulls Imagine discovering a dozen crystal skulls believed to be thousands of years old with supernatural powers and the potential to expand one's psychic abilities. It sounds like the plot of a crazy fantasy movie, right? But it's not just fiction. It's a real-life mystery that has captivated scientists and conspiracy theorists alike. The origins of these crystal skulls have been the subject of ongoing controversy and debate since the late 19th century, when they first made their way into public and private collections around the world. Some claim that they date back to ancient Mesoamerican civilizations like the Aztecs, Toltecs, Mixtecs, or Mayans, while others link them to the lost city of Atlantis for extraterrestrial visits. But as with many things, the truth may be less exciting than the legends surrounding the crystal skulls. Scientists and archaeologists are skeptical of their ancient origins, as no skulls were found during documented excavations. Moreover, the style and technique of the crystal skulls do not match pre-Columbian representation of skulls. Most crystal skulls nowadays are sadly fakes, and we still don't know whether a Mesoamerican civilization really did carve these glass artifacts. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. The Kimbaya Artifacts The Kimbaya Artifacts are a collection of mesmerizing gold figurines discovered in Colombia and are believed to date back to ancient times. These relics, ranging from 2 to 3 inches in length, hold secrets that have intrigued archaeologists and ancient astronaut theorists alike. The Kimbaya gold figurines, numbering over 100, were unearthed in two tombs at the La Soledad site in the Cauca River Valley of Colombia. However, these artifacts' journey hasn't been without its share of adventures. In the 16th century, Spanish raiders targeted areas rich in gold, including river valleys where these tombs were located. The plunderers reportedly discovered around 200 gold figurines, but only 123 made their way to Carlos Holguin, the President of the Republic in 1891. These precious relics were later bestowed upon the Museum of the Americas. But the story doesn't end there. Today, debates and disputes arise over repatriations and rightful ownership of these prized treasures. The looting of the tombs resulted in a loss of valuable contextual artifacts that could have shed light on the deeper significance of the Kimbaya figurines. Many questions remain unanswered due to the vague context surrounding these artifacts. While the majority of the collection consists of zoomorphic gold pendants depicting animals like birds, fish, insects, bats, and mammals, there are also anthropomorphic figurines featuring human faces and even phytomorphic vessels representing plants. The allure of the Kimbaya gold figurines lies not only in their exquisite craftsmanship, but also in the diverse interpretations they evoke. Archaeologists view them as representations of animals from ancient Mesoamerican cultures, while ancient astronaut theorists propose that some of these figurines depict ancient flying machines with aerodynamic features, stabilizers, and fuselage. It's a battle of theories, and now it's your turn to decide which one you'll believe. Number 18. Gobekli Tepe Gobekli Tepe is an archaeological wonder that has left experts scratching their heads and has become one of the greatest enigmas ever encountered. Archaeologists used to think constructing megalithic monuments was beyond the reach of hunter-gatherer societies. They believed farming had to be invented before people could settle down, cultivate food, and develop the social organization necessary for such ambitious architectural projects. However, Gobekli Tepe shattered these assumptions and rewrote history. Or at least, that's what most archaeologists think. Enter the alternative archaeologists often dismissed by their mainstream counterparts as pseudo-archaeologists. These unconventional thinkers see Gobekli Tepe as evidence of a mysterious lost civilization or the intervention of ancient aliens. They argue that when combined with alleged evidence of an older sphinx or other enigmatic monuments worldwide, orthodox archaeologists will have no choice but to admit they've been mistaken about the true age of humanity. Dating back to a staggering 12,000 years ago, Gobekli Tepe is the oldest and one of the most significant megalithic structures ever discovered on our planet. 
Just that fact alone makes it an archaeological marvel of immense importance. The site first caught the attention of Peter Benedict during a joint project between the Universities of Istanbul and Chicago in the 1960s and 1970s. Upon realizing the lack of water, it became clear that Gobekli Tepe couldn't have been a permanent settlement. Then in 1995, the German archaeologist Klaus Schmidt, in collaboration with the German Archaeological Institute, embarked on the first comprehensive scientific investigation of the site. As Schmidt began excavating, he was not prepared for what he would uncover. It wasn't just the famous T-pillars, similar to those found at the nearby Nivali Kori site that astonished him. It was the sheer scale of the structure that emerged. A colossal mountain sanctuary composed of megalithic wonders. Gobekli Tepe wasn't built in a day. Evidence suggests it served its purpose for thousands of years. This revelation presented a significant challenge to archaeologists. The level of planning and coordination required for such an endeavor defied the traditional theories about the capabilities of nomadic hunter-gatherer groups. By definition, these societies lack the resources and social hierarchy typically associated with grand construction projects. Clearly, the civilization that built Gobekli Tepe was far more sophisticated than anyone could have fathomed. Number 17. The Winnipesaukee Mystery Stone let me take you back to the late 1870s when a group of workers had an unexpected encounter while digging a fence post near Lake Winnipesaukee. As they plunged their shovels into the ground, they unearthed something peculiar, an egg-shaped stone unlike anything they had ever seen. This was no ordinary stone. It bore the unmistakable signs of human craftsmanship, meticulously drilled holes, smooth surfaces, and curious symbols etched upon it. Measuring a mere 4 inches in height and 2.5 inches in width, this little stone had a world of mystery within its compact form. Scholars and enthusiasts tried to decipher its meaning, and the initial explanation suggested that it might be a token symbolizing a peace treaty between tribes. However, this hypothesis failed to satisfy the growing intrigue surrounding the artifact. Later on, another theory emerged, proposing that the stone was an ancient tool of some sort. But even this explanation fell short of capturing the imagination of the masses. Skeptics on both sides of the debate weighed in, adding fuel to the fire. As the late 20th century approached, an analysis claimed the stone was a hoax, arguing that its precision drilling was too advanced for ancient civilizations to achieve. However, rather than settling the matter, this assertion only intensified the mystery, giving rise to even more far-fetched explanations involving extraterrestrial involvement. What can we say for sure about this mysterious egg-shaped object? Well, it's clear that an unknown craftsman, likely in the mid to late 1800s, meticulously carved this peculiar artifact. Beyond that, the stone's origin and purpose remain shrouded in uncertainty. Number 16. The Disappearance of the Great Mayan Civilization In ancient history, there are a few mysteries that captivate our imagination like the collapse of the Mayan civilization. This remarkably advanced society, with its population surpassing 19 million, flourished for centuries before its sudden decline in the 8th or 9th centuries. But what led to this enigmatic downfall? Imagine bustling cities like Tikal, with magnificent temples and vibrant streets, now reduced to eerie abandoned ruins. Within a mere hundred years, these core urban areas fell silent and were reclaimed by nature. The question lingers, what could have caused such a profound transformation? One theory that has gained considerable traction suggests a combination of deforestation and drought played a significant role in the Mayan collapse. As the Mayan population grew, their demand for resources escalated, leading to extensive deforestation. The clearing of forests for agriculture and construction depleted the ecosystem, disrupting the delicate balance that sustained their society. With diminishing forests, vital resources like firewood and construction materials became scarce, putting immense strain on the Mayans' way of life. Simultaneously, the region experienced a period of severe drought. The Maya relied heavily on agriculture, cultivating maize and other crops to sustain their population. However, with a prolonged absence of rain, their agricultural system faltered, leading to crop failures, food shortages, and economic instability. Deforestation and drought created a catastrophic decline in resources, triggering social, economic, and political unrest within the Mayan civilization. As the citizens struggled to cope with dwindling resources and internal conflicts, they gradually succumbed to abandonment. 
The once vibrant urban centers faded into the backdrop of history, leaving behind only remnants of their former glory. Number 15. The Moai Statues For centuries, Easter Island has been a source of mystery, with explorers and researchers trying to unravel the secrets of the enormous stone figures on the island. Now, experts believe they have finally solved one of the biggest mysteries of the island, the reason behind the placement of the statues. According to the researchers, the megalithic platforms on which many of the statues, or moai, sit are typically found close to sources of fresh water. This latest finding supports the idea that the construction of the platforms and statues, including their size, could be linked to the abundance and quality of water sources. Easter Island has over 300 megalithic platforms, believed to have been constructed by separate communities, representing their ancestors and linked to ritual activity. While previous studies suggested that the sites might have been chosen because of their link to key resources, this is the first attempt to scrutinize these claims. The team focused on the island's eastern side, where various resources have been well mapped, and analyzed the distribution of 93 megalithic platforms constructed before the arrival of European sailors in the 18th century. After ruling out the proximity of rock used for tools or the monuments, they looked at whether the ehus, the Polynesian word for the megalithic platforms, were found near other vital resources, such as gardens spread with stones in which crops like sweet potatoes were grown, sites linked to fishing and other sources of fresh water. The findings suggest that the location of the megalithic platforms and statues were carefully chosen, with access to fresh water playing a crucial role. Despite this breakthrough, Easter Island remains a fascinating and mysterious place, and there's still much to be discovered about the island's ancient inhabitants and their culture. Number 14. A Book from Another World Since its discovery in 1912, the Voynich Manuscript has remained an enigma and fascinating subject for researchers and enthusiasts alike. The Voynich Manuscript measures 8.9 by 6.3 inches and contains 102 intricately illustrated parchment pages. Divided into six sections based on the illustrations, botany, astronomy, astrology, biology, cosmology, and pharmaceutical, plus a section of continuous text, the manuscript has intrigued scholars and experts for centuries. The illustrations depict colorful and detailed drawings of plants and herbs, astronomical arrangements, nude women connected by tubes, and medallions filled with stars. While the images have been somewhat deciphered, the text remains a puzzle. Numerous attempts have been made to decode the unknown script, involving scholars, linguists, cryptologists, and curious individuals, but with limited success. The origin and exact date of creation of the manuscript are still unknown although it's believed to have originated in Central Europe in the early 15th century. Previous theories about its authorship, including one suggesting Roger Bacon wrote it, have been disproven. The manuscript has had several owners throughout history, with Holy Roman Emperor Rudolph II and his court chemist Jacobus Horkiki de Tepenek among them. Recently, however, a history researcher and television writer named Nicholas Gibbs claims to have unraveled the mystery, suggesting that the book is actually a guide to women's health. And its contents? Most of them were plagiarized. Number 13. French Sundial in Indiana Sundials are timekeeping devices used since ancient times, relying on the shadows cast by objects in the sun to measure time. Portable sundials emerged in antiquity, and by the 1600s, some Europeans carried pocket-sized versions. But one particular sundial, found in 1880 by a doctor plowing a field in Indiana, captured the interest of a curator named Peggy Kidwell, who stumbled upon a mysterious sundial in a museum collection. The sundial in question, made in France, had a gnomon that could be adjusted based on the observer's latitude. A gnomon is a piece on the sundial that protrudes to cast a shadow. It features an intriguing inscription, Borgo Nantes, indicating its origin in Nantes, France. The sundial also includes a magnetic compass and engravings of directions in French and English. Through careful examination, Schechner determined that the sundial likely dates back to between 1660 and 1675. Such instruments were not made by colonists, but imported from Europe, and similar devices have been found in excavations throughout French-held territories in North America. The French occupied the region during the 1700s, engaging in trade and establishing outposts. Eventually, the territory passed from French to British control, and later it became part of the United States. 
While we can trace some aspects of the sundial's journey, many questions remain unanswered. How did the sundial end up in that Indiana field? Perhaps we'll never know. Number 12. Advanced Stone Age Tools in India This fascinating discovery in India has archaeologists scratching their heads and questioning who exactly made these ancient stone tools. The findings suggest that modern stone tools were crafted in India much earlier than previously believed, a staggering 250,000 years earlier. The big question is, who was responsible for making them? The researchers propose that these tools may have been the handiwork of an archaic hominin species rather than modern humans. Unfortunately, it's impossible to determine the answer definitively. While fossilized remains of hominins are scarce, the stone tools they left behind can endure for hundreds of thousands of years, especially when buried and undisturbed. Now here's the question. Were the tool makers members of an archaic human species or modern humans resembling us? According to archaeologist Chris Clarkson from the University of Queensland, it's more likely that the tool makers were an ancestor of Neanderthals called Homo heidelbergensis. However, there's a significant missing piece to this puzzle. Despite the abundance of stone tools at the Atirampakam site, no fossilized remains have been found there. Therefore, it is currently impossible to definitively identify the hominin species responsible for crafting these tools. Number 11. Viking Rune Stones In a remote part of Oklahoma, there is a mysterious slab of ancient sandstone known as the Heavener Rune Stone, covered in eight engraved symbols. Some believe these symbols are runes carved by Vikings around 1000 CE. Local historian Gloria Farley dedicated her life to researching the stone and gathered evidence supporting the theory of Viking presence in North America. However, not everyone is convinced. An alternative theory suggests the stone may be a 19th century creation or the work of other European explorers. The authenticity of the runes and the identity of the carvers remain disputed. Since stone carvings cannot be accurately dated, Researchers have relied on contextual evidence, which has been inconclusive. Despite the uncertainty, the Heavener runestone attracts visitors from around the world, and the legend of Vikings in Oklahoma continues to captivate people's imagination. Number 10. The Placebo Effect Imagine a magic pill that doesn't contain any active ingredients, but can still make you feel better. It sounds like something out of a fantasy story, right? Well, it's actually a real thing called the placebo effect, one of the most mysterious and fascinating phenomena in the world. When people believe they're receiving a treatment that will help them, even if it's just a sugar pill or a harmless saline solution, their minds can unleash a cascade of remarkable effects on their bodies. They might experience a reduction in pain, an improvement in symptoms, or even a boost in overall well-being. It's like a magic trick that fools our brains into healing itself. What's truly mind-boggling is that the placebo effect can occur even when we know we're taking a placebo. Our minds can convince ourselves that we're being helped simply because we expect it to happen. It's as if our beliefs hold the power to tap into our body's natural healing abilities. The placebo effect isn't just limited to pills either. It can occur with injections, surgeries, and even acupuncture. It's a reminder that our perception of treatment is crucial to its effectiveness. Our brains are powerful storytellers weaving tales of healing and relief that can influence our experiences. To this day, science still can't explain this strange phenomena. And who knows, we might never unravel its mysteries. Number 9. The Moa of Mount Owen In 2020, brave archaeologists explored a dark cave in New Zealand and made an extraordinary find, an enormous claw that seems straight out of a dinosaur movie. But here's the twist. The claw actually belonged to a bird that vanished only 3,300 years ago. This bird, known as the upland moa, was a heavyweight in the avian world, although smaller than its towering relatives at about 4.2 feet tall. It had a feathered body, no wings, and no tail. The story of the moa began in 1839 when a man named John W. Harris received a strange fossilized bone from an indigenous Maori tribe. After much puzzling, Sir Richard Owen identified it as a bone from an entirely new species of giant bird. Despite initial skepticism, more moa bones were found, leading to the reconstruction of complete skeletons. These remarkable discoveries, including mummified remains with muscle, skin, and feathers, were found in dunes, swamps, and caves, preserved in their ancient splendor thanks to the dry conditions. Number 8. 
The Sumerian King's List The Sumerian King's List is one of the most mysterious discoveries in the world. These tablets contained a fascinating account of rulers' lineage, including godlike and human kings. Initially, people thought the list was a mix of mythology and history, but a recent discovery in human DNA has sparked a new debate. The King's List started a staggering 266,000 years ago, way before we believed human civilization even began. It describes the reign of kings starting from a city called Eridu in ancient Sumer, located in present-day Iraq. The list goes on to mention a great flood similar to the one in biblical times. Some scholars believe these numbers are encoded using a mathematical system from ancient Sumer. However, the formula doesn't quite explain the post-flood king's equally bizarre lifespans. After the flood, kingship supposedly descended from heaven to a new city called Kish and the rulers reigned for hundreds of years, much like the long-lived figures in the Old Testament. A few others with the ancient lineage were found in Cameroon, leaving us wondering if an extinct human civilization could have existed so long ago. The debate continues about whether these kings and their reigns were real or simply symbolic representations of achievements. Did they rule over an ancient civilization that has been lost to time? Number 7. The Shroud of Turin the Shroud of Turin, an ancient linen cloth bearing the faint image of a crucified man, has captivated the world for centuries. Believed by many to be the burial cloth of Jesus Christ himself, this enigmatic relic defies easy explanation. Despite all the scrutiny, the Shroud continues to defy straightforward explanations. Some argue that it's a clever medieval forgery, while others staunchly defend its authenticity. Scientific investigations, debates over its authenticity, and the haunting details of the image have only deepened the mystery. Number 6. The Walls of Sacsayhuaman Once the capital of the Inca Empire, this fortress-like complex leaves visitors in awe. While what remains today is only a fraction of the original structure, the outer walls alone are a sight to behold. Crafted with remarkable precision, the irregularly shaped boulders fit together seamlessly forming intricate zigzag patterns across three levels. The stones are so tightly fitted that not even a piece of paper can slip through the gaps. Walking along the grassy pathways, you'll encounter towering stone doorways and the circular foundations of long-gone towers. Standing next to these colossal stones, one can't help but feel small. The most prominent cornerstone reaches an impressive 27.9 feet in height, while the longest wall stretches 1,312.3 feet and stands 19.7 feet tall. It's estimated that a single boulder weighs between 264,555 to 440,925 pounds. However, to this day, the bizarre formations of Saxay Woman continue to intrigue people worldwide. Number 5. The Rongo Rongo Tablets I've already talked about Easter Island, but here's, yet again, one of the many mysteries surrounding it. The Rongo Rongo tablets of Easter Island, with their intricate stylized glyphs, continue to baffle researchers, creating an air of captivating mystery. These enigmatic scripts, believed to be the only indigenous writing system in Oceania before the 20th century, present a significant challenge in decipherment. Despite the limited number of surviving examples and ongoing debates surrounding proposed theories, Scholars persist in their efforts to unlock the secrets held within these ancient texts. Number 4. The Gate of the Sun Tiwanaku is an ancient city nestled among the mountains of Bolivia. This archaeological marvel unveils the mystery of the Tiwanaku culture, a pre-Hispanic empire that once dominated the Americas. At 12,500 feet near Lake Titicaca, Tiwanaku's temples and structures showcase their distinctive craftsmanship and advanced infrastructure. The Pyramid of Acapana, once towering with seven platforms, now stands in ruins, evoking the grandeur of a bygone era. Nearby, the Kalasasaya Temple beckons with its mesmerizing Gate of the Sun. Carved from a colossal andesite stone, the gate features a deity with an intriguing headdress or radiant rays, captivating the imagination. Some associate it with the Sun God or the Weeping God, while others link it to Viracocha, the Inca god of creation. Legends intertwine with cosmogony myths, recounting Viracocha's emergence from Lake Titicaca, bringing light to the world and creating mankind. Surrounding the gate are depictions of bird-like and human-like figures known as the God's Messengers. 
The purpose of the Gate of the Sun remains shrouded in mystery. Some propose it as a portal to other dimensions, while others suggest it served as an agricultural calendar. Tiwanaku's decline began in the 11th century, and today, its authentic remnants evoke fascination and wonder. Number 3. Underground City of Turkey Imagine wandering through an underground maze exploring chambers and tunnels that housed an ancient civilization. Darren Kuyu's subterranean marvels leave visitors spellbound with its intricate network of rooms, including living quarters, churches, and even schools. Unearthed in the 1960s, this hidden marble stretches a staggering 18 stories deep and could accommodate up to 20,000 people. It served as a self-contained society featuring ventilation shafts, water wells, kitchens, wineries, stables, and even a school. Its purpose as a refuge during times of invasion is evident in the massive stone doors that could be rolled in place to seal off the city. This awe-inspiring subterranean complex offers a fascinating glimpse into the resourcefulness and ingenuity of the region's ancient inhabitants. It's unknown who built this underground settlement, but archaeologists might discover clues as they explore it further. Number 2. Akambaro Figures the Akambaro figures are a collection of thousands of clay figurines discovered in Akambaro, Mexico in the 1940s by a German immigrant named Waldemar Julesrud. These figurines depict various animals, dinosaurs, humans, and mythical creatures. Of course, many were perplexed by their mere existence. If the statues are real, it means our ancestors knew about dinosaurs, humans, and creatures we never thought they knew. However, skeptics argue that the figurines are modern forgeries or misidentified objects. They propose that locals create the Akambaro figures to sell to collectors or tourists. And now it's time for today's topic. What scientists found inside this place shocked the whole world. There's only one way to understand something. Conduct a scientific experiment. Before, some scientists got away with conducting experiments on human subjects, but nowadays, ethical and moral standards are tightly upheld. However, that doesn't mean everyone is following them. This photo allegedly shows corpses that were once subjected to secret experiments. What could have unfolded within the secret facility? Is this another hoax meant to scare people on the internet? Or is there a secret society trying to unlock the answers to something sinister? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 1. The Newark Holy Stones The Newark Holy Stones are a collection of artifacts discovered in the late 19th and early 20th centuries in Newark, Ohio, United States. These artifacts consist of several stone objects with inscriptions, including the Keystone, the Decalogue Stone, and the Cross Stone. The Keystone is the most well-known of the Newark Holy Stones. It's a sandstone slab with a Hebrew inscription that translates to for the Judeans or for the Jews. The Decalogue stone, on the other hand, features a Hebrew inscription believed to be a version of the Ten Commandments. These artifacts have generated considerable controversy and debate. Some proponents argue that the Newark Holy Stones provide evidence of ancient Hebrew presence in North America, suggesting there may have been pre-Columbian contact between Old World civilizations and Native American cultures. However, skeptics and experts in archaeology and linguistics have cast doubt on the authenticity and interpretation of the stones. Many consider them to be modern hoaxes or misinterpretations of Native American rock art. The origin and purpose of the Newark Holy Stones remain a mystery, while they continue to captivate the interest of researchers and enthusiasts. Their true significance and meaning have yet to be definitively determined. The Newark Holy Stones stand as mysterious artifacts that provoke curiosity and speculation about the history and cultural interactions of ancient civilizations. Countless more mysteries are waiting to be explored, but which one intrigued you the most? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.